All right, questions 9 to 11 in the ASA red paper. Question 9. Which of the following best describes the relative situation when water moves across a semi-permeable membrane by osmosis from side 1 to side 2? <clears throat> All right. Um, first things first, it's important to understand the concept of os osmosis. So osmosis is the tendency of water to move from areas of low solute concentrations to high solute concentrations. The second thing that's important to understand for this question is that solute concentration is inversely related to solvent concentration. So solute concentration is inversely related to solvent con concentration. <clears throat> the reason for that is because um, an increase in solute will increase the space occupied by solute in a solution. Therefore, since there's more space being occupied by solute, there's less space being occupied by solvent, and therefore the mass of solvent per unit volume decreases, and therefore the solvent concentration decreases. So from that, you can say that lower solute con solvent concentration means that you have a higher solute concentration. So lower solvent means higher solute concentration. Right, um, for this reason, um, the answer is C, that um, um, because for water to move from side one to side two, um, you need uh, the, you need side one to have a lower solute concentration and side two to have a higher solute concentration. And since lower solvent concentration also means higher solute concentration, the answer is C. Question 10. Which one of the following diagrams is the best representation of a mechanism that would lead to diarrhea? Note that single dash means that the process is inhibited, whilst double dash means that the process is stimulated. All right. Um, so there are a couple of things that, you, again, you need to understand for this question. One is that the lumen side is the hollow part of the intestine. So the lumen side of the diagram is the hollow part of the intestine. And that two, diarrhea involves increased water in the lumen. Um, so therefore, the aim is to increase the solute concentration in the lumen, as described by the osmosis principle that we learned in the previous question. Um, for this reason, B is the correct answer. So um, let's just go through each one. Uh, a, um, with A, we're, we've got um, chlorine going into the lumen from the crypsa, um, but that process is being inhibited, so we're getting less chlorine in the lumen. So um, since we're getting less solute in the lumen, therefore we're going to get less water and therefore less diarrhea. Um, B, we've got sodium going from the lumen, being absorbed from the lumen into the villus cell. Um, in this case, however, um, sodium is being inhibited. So um, since less sodium is being um, absorbed into the cell, that means more solute is going to be in the lumen and therefore we're going to get more diarrhea um, occurring as there is more water going to be in the lumen. Um, for C, uh, we're, get, we're increasing the amount of uh, chlorine being absorbed into the uh, interstitial fluid um, that's not really directly related to the um, amount of solute in the lumen, so it's not really a strong answer. And again, same with D. So the correct answer is B. Mm. All right, question 11. Of the following, diarrhea-causing organisms would most likely act by A, inhibiting osmosis via crypt cells, B, blocking the sodium pump of villus cells, C, inhibiting crypt cell secretion of chloride into the lumen, and D, enhancing villus cell absorption of sodium from the lumen. All right, so let's go through each of these answers and discuss whether they're right or wrong. Um, A is incorrect as um, inhibiting crypt cell osmosis would decrease the water in the lumen. So um, the first dot point in the stem states that when the stomach empties par partly digested food into the intestine, crypt cells located in the intestinal wall actively transport chloride from the interstitial fluid into the intestinal lumen at an increased rate. So it seems to be that the purpose of crypt cells is to actively transport chloride into the lumen. So if we inhibited the crypt cell um, ability, um, then we would expect decreased solute in the lumen and therefore that would decrease the amount of water in the lumen, thus decreasing the amount of diarrhea. Um, B. Uh, B is the mechanism described in 10. So if we block the sodium pump of the villus cells, um, then we're going to get decreased absorption of sodium from the lumen, and therefore more, more sodium will remain in the lumen, therefore we'll get more water and diarrhea in the lumen. Um, C, inhibiting crypt cell secretion of chloride into the lumen. So if we inhibited chloride, um, 
secretion into the lumen, then we'd get less chloride in the lumen, therefore we'd have less water in the lumen. Um, and D, finally, enhancing uh, villous cell absorption of sodium from the lumen. So if we increase the amount of absorption of sodium, then we'd increase the amount of um, water absorption and, that, uh, and thus decrease the amount of water in the lumen. So the correct answer would be B.